this is the automatic transfer switch, and as we talked uh, out at the unit, uh, automatic is our normal position, and this is the automatic transfer switch, and what we're in a position that's normal right now is telling us S1 is okay, and S1 is our utility source, and we're connected to the building. This is a symbol for our building. Uh, we also have local time here, and we have the date here. Uh, basically, everything else in this switch is preset to the uh, timers that we need for normal operation, so really not much to look at there, but I am going to take you through a normal test, and uh, what we're going to do is what we call a quick test, so it'll last a minute all together. We'll be online for 30 seconds, which means connected to emergency, and then we'll be uh, cool down for 30 seconds. And during that time, the red button over here is going to be lit that the generator is started and we're going to be connected. And actually, this light will be out, but we'll still have S1 available, which is utility. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through that test. You push the test button. We're going to do what we call a fast test, so that's button two. We're going to enter the access code, which is one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we're going to hold this until the operation takes place. Okay, the engine's starting right now. And it's going to go ahead and give us a red light. And then we're transferred and we got the red light on and we're connected. Okay, and as I said, we're going to be we're connected to S2, which is the emergency. Notice we're connected to the building here and we're in a 30 second test here. And again, we still have utility available. And again, this switch should be checked and tested periodically, at least once every six months. So we go ahead there, we're timing down. Once we get to uh, zero here, we're going to actually transfer back, and you'll hear the mechanism transfer. Now we're back. Utilities connected to the building again, and we're now we're in a 30-second cool down on the engine. It's what we call S2 stop delay. The normal operation is uh, five minutes on this stop delay so that we cool the engine properly after it's been on load. So again, here in another uh, roughly 10 seconds, we'll go ahead and, uh, and it'll shut off normally. And since we didn't uh, affect any operation with the generator, it's still in the auto position, we have nothing enunciated on the panel. Okay, and now we're transferred back. Uh, of course, that happened 30 seconds ago. The engine is now shut off, and we're back to normal S1 OK.